Hello. As soon as I started ninth grade at Commonwealth, I realized I had coasted through middle school. <laughs> I didn't think much about writing, and I hadn't done much of it. In middle school, there were no classes, and there were very few tests. Instead, all my schoolwork was self-paced and completed independently. The tests I did take were ask questions about factual recall only. They were not testing my analytical thinking. In contrast, my tests at Commonwealth are designed to show how I work as a scholar and what I can extrapolate from the material. In the humanities, the tests are open-ended and there's more than one interpretation. My teachers are genuinely interested in my ideas. Talking has always been easier for me than writing. <laughs> because no, I had no classes in middle school, I never had a chance to talk in class. So that was one of the most surprising things for me once I came to Commonwealth. I really enjoyed discussing things with my classmates, and upon occasion, I managed to say something vaguely clever. <laughs> Earl Early on, I felt that my classmates could write page after page of prose while I could barely compose a paragraph. I attributed my writing challenges to being a bad writer. My advisor saw differently. My advisor would say I had so much potential. <laughs> and I would look at her and try to explain once again, bad writing meant bad writer. Uh, try as I might, I've never managed to convince her that I was right. <laughs> she suggested that I might benefit from some help. That help came in the form of my writing tutor, Miss Louise. Working with her was meant to help me build up the skills I had never developed properly, beginning with my phonics skills. Truthfully, I expected to spend one period a week wasting away relearning kindergarten. Instead, what I got was a weekly tutorial with a chipper, wildly hilarious woman with sharp wit. She made me feel that writing was well within my abilities. We worked on sentence structure, writing outlines to organize my thoughts, even dissecting homework questions so that I learned not to miss anything. I spent intensive time with her over the summer after my sophomore year, devoting my days to learning how to communicate on paper in increasingly complex ways. During that summer, I also became well acquainted with her two dogs, who were my wonderful study buddies. <laughs> Miraculously, by my junior year, I found that I enjoy writing. Working with Miss Louise got me through multiple drafts of my US, um, a re US history research paper, a terror-inducing time <laughs> for me. Uh -huh. In at English 11, Miss Tyson, my then English teacher, gave the class an open-ended uh, Hamlet essay assignment w where we got to choose a range of quotes. I chose two quotes about flowers that appealed to me. I got, went to the Boston Public Library, checked out a dictionary that discussed the significance of flowers according to um, Victorian England, and using some of the same historical research skills I had developed with Miss Louise, I applied those meanings to my interpretation of the text. Writing doesn't scare me anymore. I'm able to write weekly essays for my, uh, for my History of India class, and I'm excited by the text I get to read. Recently, while on the school's French exchange trip, I kept a travel journal. My friend Mary encouraged me to do so, and since we're both in artist books together, we made the journal together. Every night while I was in France, I, I would write down my day's adventures. Now that I'm home from the trip, I look back on my sloppy handwriting and relive the wonder I felt of being abroad for the first time. This past fall, to my everlasting surprise, I even found myself thrilled to be writing my college essay with Mr. Wharton. <laughs> yeah, that was the one, one of the great perks about it. <laughs> I was finally able to write without it being a chore, and it was instead a wondrous adventure in learning how to express myself. By the end of the process, 
I had a piece of paper, college or no college, I was truly proud of and felt communicated who I was. To say writing is easy for me now would be a gross exaggeration, but at least now I have fun. Thank you.